Here at Willis High School, mental health and wellbeing are a priority. We know that if you're not well, you cannot learn. Five years ago, we started a programme called It's All About Me to tackle the stigma of mental health and encourage people to open up and talk about it. It's All About Me stands for Mental and Emotional. And it's a programme we really want to support everybody in our school, our young people, our staff and our families. We want to encourage people to open up and talk about mental health, ask questions, but also signpost them to the help they need. Everybody has health. We all have physical health and we all have mental health. Sometimes they can be good, sometimes they can be poor. But no matter what, whether it's physical health or mental health, we really want you to seek help if you're struggling. Think about it. If you had a broken bone, you wouldn't try and deal with it yourself. You would go for help. It's the same for mental health. And it does impact everybody. One in 10 young people will experience a mental health problem in a year. That for us at Wallace High is the equivalent of 100 students or three pupils in every class struggling right now. And for adults, it's even higher. One in four of us will struggle with a mental health problem in a year. That could be this, the same as maybe 30 members of our staff, everybody in the Logie Wing, for example, struggling right now. There are many different types of mental health challenges that people will face. Perhaps you know the names of some of these ones on the screen just now. Maybe you know somebody who's struggling. Maybe it's you. The important thing is not to be ashamed of mental health. It is something that help is available for and we want to encourage you to do that. Many celebrities and sports stars struggle with their mental health and there's been a lot more of that in the news recently. For example, we know Ellen DeGeneres has struggled with depression, Freddie Flintoff has bulimia and Demi Lovato has bipolar disorder. But the important thing to remember is these people are still successful despite their mental health challenges. The reason we have an elephant as our logo for mental health in the school. The reason for that is the phrase, the elephant in the room. This is a phrase often used around mental health, where it means we know that there's something there, we know there's a challenge, but no one's willing to talk about it. So we decided to cho choose Elfie, our elephant mascot, to represent and remind people that we need to talk about mental health. It should never be the elephant in the room. At school, we have a number of things available to support you. You're not alone in struggling. Firstly, we have mental health first aiders who are available in the school. We have around 25 of them. Different members of staff from different faculties on hand to help you if you are struggling. You don't need an appointment, you can go and speak to them and they will arrange a time to talk to you. We also have our health hub in the library at the back corner. Soon there's going to be lots of new resources going in there to help you if you're struggling There'll be leaflets to information services, there'll be books and other resources, so please use that. Or just go in for a sit down in one of the sofas and relax. We are also really lucky to have a new mental health counsellor within our school called Carol. She is available for appointments, drop-ins, or you can speak to people support and they will arrange, if they think it's necessary, a chance to speak to her. We also have mental health coaching available. This can be arranged through your pupil support teacher. In addition to that, we have around 30 mental health champions in our school. That's students, first year up to sixth year, who are on hand to help, to signpost, to organise events around mental health and really support their peers in any way that they can. We also have our new mental health website that's just recently been launched. That site is available to anybody to use within our community. There's information for young people, for our staff and for our families on there. It also tells you what you can do in a crisis and how to get immediate help. All the sites and resources that are on there are reliable. They are all links that we would recommend that you follow and that you go to. And there is something there for everybody. Remember, you are not alone if you are struggling with your mental health or you just want to talk. There are people here in the school that are able to help you. Any one of the members of staff, all our staff are available to chat, perhaps the mental health first aiders or your pupil support teacher. Pick somebody that you know you trust and go and have a conversation with that person. The website that we've created has a section on how do you talk to an adult, so please have a look at that if you're not sure about what to say or what to do. Remember, we are all here if you need us.